All right. I have another piece of uh, uh, figure painting to uh, experiment to is I did uh, uh, tracing from uh, a handout I'm going to give you online class and uh, uh, here's the freehand part I'm going to do first uh, you might notice the composition has a big leaf in the background so uh, I may do that first because it's in the front of the garden rock I will do this a big brush just finishing one stroke and this should be very light the color or ink should go with the uh, composition and they also go with uh, the classification so if one element in the painting is the light, it should light everywhere with when that reappears. So this is called the color according to classification or uh, type type of a thing. I'm going to do this banana leaf. Okay, now I'm going to draw this uh, rock with the uh, gray ink, uh, blue gray or some light ink, brown also maybe possible. And the bamboo in the front of that. behind the leaf and there's, there's another Now, draw this uh, <coughs> bamboo leaves. The bamboo leaves in figure painting should be smaller than uh, flower bird painting. Now the veins on the banana leaf, palm leaf, if you want. This should be wet in, in, into wet, so that it bleed. Okay. Now I would uh, add color the figure. The face color is uh, basically uh, vermilion with a little green, mineral green.
and you can uh, <coughs> use uh, more water and a little white to to the forehead and the, the rest of it. I'll do the little blush there later. <coughs> Let me. I'll do the little hint of a hand. It's a very light. Uh, black to do this uh, uh, what is it called scarf the belt sash 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 yes it goes behind the leaf sash and all the way to the ground this is a a, a very uh, Romantic or uh, you know uh, expressionistic painting, it's like a poem, uh, a poet uh, reading a poem, and uh, this color could be a dark stroke. Also. Okay, I'll just do some gray blue to finish and see if there's any other dark I think here there's other sleeve or slash belt to wash up and get some uh, light blue with a shadow on the basically white garment. Okay, I'll put uh, some brown. We just use this vermilion with the indigo to get brown. Some more water to do this uh, rock. colors here. Overall look, I need to darken the hair. It's like a gray hair, I like that. So maybe just a uh, little wash
can put uh, some more stars if you need it. Nothing is uh, dead. And uh, this is red, maybe. Let's start before it's uh, too late. Uh, okay, you can s you wash a little uh, green to the uh, banana leaf. I'm sorry, the blue, the indigo blue. Just a hint of color. We don't have wine here. Don't leave Mishi Huang Hun Ho, maybe. Don't leave means the the east uh, fence, uh, which is a classic uh, from the borrowed from Taoyuan means home, I think. Taiji Dong Li Xia, where the Chrysanthemum is. I'll say Yu Shi Huang Hun Ho means uh, after dawn. It's also the age of this, this person, uh, after Huang Hun dusk. <laughs> Huang Hun Shi is sunset in the, yeah. uh, the, the time, which is da, dusk. Yeah. So it's a kind of leisure life after retirement. Mm -hmm. That's kind of mood here. Um, and a year. Signature. Interpretation of this uh, second painting. It's a very small uh, image uh, found on the internet. Uh, basically, I got the idea of the composition. That's very important. And also, the figure gesture that helped. Um, and applied some technique we learned from this uh, lesson 42. Uh, consider this an uh, uh, alternative assignment for. Uh, this class, if you want, you can try your own uh, with uh, this same technique and different uh, 
gesture. So happy, happy painting and uh, see you in class. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.